In this video, we're gonna be replacing the outside door handles on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. Take this cover off. You can use a trim tool. Just get behind here. It's just clipped in on the back. There's a cover right here. Just use a pick or a straight blade screwdriver. Just get underneath. Take that cover off. It's just clipped in on the back side. Underneath here, do the same. Just use the pick or a screwdriver and pop that cover off. Take the lock knob off. Just use a pick. Just get underneath here and slide it up. Now take this bolt out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And there's two bolts down here. Take those out. Now take those out. You can use a magnet. I'm gonna take the switch off. You can leave it on and take the door panel off and just disconnect it from underneath, but it's a little bit easier to get to the connectors if you take it off now. Just use a trim tool, get underneath there, pop it up. Then in the front, slide it out. Then you can disconnect the connectors, push down on the tab. and slide them all out. And using a trim tool, you just have to pop the clips. And grab the panel. And pull this cable off. You want to use some needle nose pliers. And there's some clips right here. This one is messed up a little bit. So you just want to push on those two little tabs and then slide the cable with the ball out and then slide the panel out. Now grab the vapor barrier. You want to pull this down. It is just taped on with some butyl tape. Just peel it down slowly and carefully. We're gonna take this lower cover off. Just use a trim tool or a straight blade screwdriver. I'm gonna disconnect this rod that goes to the latch. There's just a little door right here. You just get on the outside of here. And just open it just like that. And then the rod comes off. And then there's a rod that goes to the lock cylinder. So up near the door handle, near the lock cylinder, you're gonna to have to take this rod and just push it towards the outside of the door, basically away from the vehicle. It is clicked in right there. get a little more leverage. I'm using a trim tool and just pop that out. And this is just loose, just like that. Now using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna take these two bolts out, go through that hole. And then in this hole, there's a bolt also. You wanna take that one out as well.
take those out. Then just grab the handle. You can open it up and then just wiggle it a little bit. You want to slide it down slightly and out. The lock rod's going to come out just like that. Now we'll transfer this rod over to the new one. Just slide it outwards and slide it in just like it came out. Then we have to transfer over the lock. You just take a screwdriver. There's a little clip right here. You want to take that clip off. You can push it out and then just slide it out or you can take it off completely. Sometimes it's easier to just take the whole thing off. Then you're not fighting it. There you go. Take that off, then grab the cylinder, slide it out. Move it over to the new one. And just lock it down. Now the new door handle is ready to install. And slide the handle down in position. You're going to have to open it up a little bit. And with it back a little, push it in, and then just slide it towards the outside. Make sure it looks like it's flat all the way around. That looks good. Now we'll go on the inside. Now put the screws in. And snug those down. Just snug, not too tight. Now reposition the lock rod that's going to go with the lock cylinder is, just slide that in place and then just pull, just like that, it snaps right in. And then you want to connect this other rod to the latch, open that little door, push this in, and then close it up. And put this cover back on, just push it, lock it in place. Now take the vapor barrier, you can get everything lined up, have the wiring harness go back through and try to position it where it was when it came off. Now I'll slide the door panel back in place and just slide the wiring harnesses through here. You need to connect the connect this cable over here. That's going to go through there and then pop in place just like that. up on the door panel. There's a groove on the top. You need to slide that into the weather strip. And then with the door push pins lined up, you want to re-secure the door panel. Take 
the switch, connect all the connectors. They're all labeled here. You just match the color up. White and black. I'll line this up. Line this up and lock it down. Now I take the screws, get these all started. And the top one. And tighten these down. Now we can put these covers on, just line it up, push it on. This cover is going on. Lock it in place. And the cover up here, lock it down. And put the lock knob on, line that up, push down on the lock, double check, make sure it works. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.